Gotta catch him up I know it's my destiny Pokemon oh, You're my best friend In a world we must defend Pokemon Gotta go you teach me And I'll teach you Pokemon Gotta catch him up Gotta catch him up Pokemon That's Joshua Micah, who says on air one. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Just took my sister to the airport this morning. So she was spending the weekend with me after the tour because she was out on the road with me. So just not, had some brother and sister time together. We had a lot of fun going and watching the Pokemon I Choose You movie, which something all my siblings we can all agree on and just have fun with and bond over because it's just something we all really got into when we were little. So people may think it's a bit odd when I'm dressing up in Pokemon stuff and going to watch a kid movie. You really shouldn't take me that seriously <laughs> when I'm going with my sister and just having a fun time bonding over just something we After all a few weeks of just working hard, my sister working hard too, I'm doing these shows it's just nice to have a little break and just have a good time. Some people have sports, Harry Potter, whatnot. We've got both. The thing is, I like wholesome, clean family entertainment. Pokemon, Pixar, or just Disney in general. I'm not into like gory, raunchy, dirty humor. So, oh, don't get me wrong, I like other movies too, you know, love Avengers movies, but sometimes those things just have weird, just bad sexual humor things I just don't feel good watching. And it's like, I have to man up by watching that stuff, you know, I can man up by being decent. What I love about family movies too is they usually have a message that can connect to everybody, a lot of good life lessons, and I love things that just get me thinking. Uh, you know, it's fun to have a fun time too, but I just love those lessons. So. If I'm a bit of a kid, a little immature, that's okay. That's who I am. And I'm trying my best to live a good life, work hard, pay my bills, <laughs> do all the grown up stuff too. I may not be the most macho, buff, tough guy out there. I'm pretty small. I was never good at sports from little to now. And I may be into Pokemon and Mario and Zelda and all the nerdy stuff. But I choose to live decent. You know, when I was little, I got picked on a lot for that, for being the scrawny kid, for being the quiet kid, for being the kid who sang, oh, you sing? You must be a girl because girls sing. You sound like a girl. Hmm, okay. <laughs> and scrawny, high voice, nerdy. I'm, I'm still kind of all that stuff today. So for all you folks felt were little, scrawny, nerdy, it's okay. We can live good lives, and we can make a difference. So it's okay to be a little different. Be out of the norm. Okay, I was a singer. Well, that's what I do now. <laughs> Scrawny, nerdy. That's where I bond with my family. Being religious, being a Mormon. Things may be weird about me. Or think People may think I'm a little extreme about things, especially like religion and stuff. But you know what? That's who I am. I can't say, I mean, I take this man everywhere I go, even in my car. Yes. Jesus is always with me. I keep a picture to remind me who I want to center my life on. It's important to remember what, what matters most and then to live by it. So I'm sorry if I bug y'all. You can follow me whenever you want, but I'm just being... That's my rant for this morning. I'm doing my best to be who I am and be willing to share that with y'all. I hope you appreciate it. Hope you have fun with me. We can laugh and cry. <laughs> so what motivates you? What what is it that drives you to live your life? Which what, what inspires you to be a good person? 
You know, I share with you what I have fun with and what, ins what inspires me. But ask yourself that, you know, what? So take some time to get to know yourself, what you have fun with, what you enjoy, what you feel are things that define you. Maybe people put a label on it like they did on me. But turn it into some turn it into something positive. Because I really believe that God makes us different. And what may come as weak, well, God makes weak things become strong. And those weaknesses that made you different are now strengths that make you I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. I'm done with my morning rant in the parking lot. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all have a wonderful day. It's going to be a good one. It's up to you. Starts with your thoughts. <laughs> Start with just thinking about what you're grateful for today. I'm grateful that my sister came, that I was able to express how I felt, and the tour was just awesome. So wonderful to see all of you who came to the shows, and it just felt good. I felt like I was being me, and not just being me, but pushing myself to be a better person me so i'm grateful for a good run gonna go do some exercise now catch up on home i haven't been here in like months so y'all have a great day thanks for tuning in we'll catch